Hi, I'm Mike Duffy with Backcountry Access and Avalanche1.com. We're going to go over transceivers today. We want to get in the habit of calling these a transceiver. Some people call it a beacon, but there's confusion with personal locator beacons. Some people think a personal locator beacon will find you underneath the snow. It is not accurate enough. A transceiver can send a signal and receive a signal in 457 kilohertz. Everybody in your group should have one. They should have the training and they should know how to use it. As a snowmobiler, I use the float Mount Pro vest. The transceiver goes right in the front pocket here. What's nice about this, it's very quick to access for doing transceiver checks at the beginning of the day. I can also be very fast in a rescue. I don't have to dig underneath layers. It's right here. I can do a search on my snow bike or snowmobile and you have quick access to the transceiver. Right in this pocket up front here, zips right in. I have a tether that attaches to a D-ring here. With your transceiver, you want to use alkaline batteries. Alkaline batteries discharge at a constant rate. Lithium batteries hold the charge and then they drop the charge all at once. You do not get an accurate battery reading, so alkaline batteries only. All transceivers manufactured after 1996 are on the same frequency. That's 457 kilohertz. They're all compatible with each other. Different brands work well with each other. Transceivers can be affected by electrical interference. These can be cell phones, Bluetooth devices, GPS-enabled devices. They can actually be your vehicle itself. When it's transmitting, these electrical devices do not affect it much. But when you go to the search mode to look for someone, if there's an electrical device that will interfere within three feet, it can cut the effective search range of some transceivers 50 to 70 percent. Cell phones need to be completely off or more than three feet away. And you hold the transceiver out in front of you. Do not have an electrical device right here and hold it right here. Have it out away from you. You do not want the electrical interference when you're searching. These are just some basic transceiver tips to get started. To learn more about how to use your transceiver, go to backcountryaccess.com and check out our videos.